well. I'm going to make some tea. This is not a tea time talking head trauma. <laughs> tea time trauma tales. Woo! Tea time trauma. Yes. This was my old office, <laughs> but there was just too many visitors and I just didn't have enough privacy. So I had to move my office. I like the new location. The rent's cheaper too. I'm just curious. Is that, I mean, it looks like dandelion, but maybe it's a desert dandelion and you're not supposed to eat those. Isn't this edible. I mean, I have roasted dandelion tea. I've read up on dandelion a lot in Michigan because it's everywhere. But I'm not eating anything until I know for sure. I have walked by this cactus many, many times and I've never seen this little nest. Now that must have been hard to build, I'm trying to get in here without getting poked and you don't have to hear me. Oh, here's a nice little opening. Look at that. That's as close as I can get. Ding dong, you ding dong. There. Look at Tammy bought me. It's a little bit long, so I wrapped it up, but I'm going to put it somewhere on my lot. And she knew I didn't like a lot of noise or I can't handle it. So this was perfect. I mean, it barely makes any noise unless you really. It's pretty, isn't it? It's time for me to go get some water, run some errands. I'm a little low key. I'm not really in the mood. It's a beautiful day, but I don't want to be sitting around editing. I want to go out and get my fushiwa, food shelter water. I'm going to go to town. Who knows? I might stop by Don's. I mean, I just, you know, how can I resist not going after a couple of those pieces, huh? So uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what the day brings. I'm definitely low key, but it's early. It's early, you know? It was a big day in the office yesterday. <laughs> no, it was that was the day before. I have to go get some bins. There's rain coming, 40, 50 mile an hour gusts. So I want to go get a couple bins or maybe a tarp to cover the roof. I mean, the roof in that office building, they need to repair that because it's going to rain. I got to go. I got to shut up. Well, it took me a lot to get cleaned up. I don't think people realize, I, I'm sure they don't because they can dress however they want. However, with my sensory issues, you know, the, 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 it has to be breathable, has to be comfortable, non-binding. And, you know, a lot of the clothes I have aren't that way, but I can't get rid of them because I love them. So um, this is a great piece because it's really breathable. It's like a bathing suit cover-up piece I picked out. And, uh, or no, I didn't pick it out. My sister gave it to me. <laughs> well, I picked it out of her closet. So I did pick it out. Uh, okay, so I'm off. And uh, we'll see what today brings. Uh-oh, look at that sign. Everything 50%. Is that everything 50% off today? Uh-huh, I think. I haven't been in yet. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, I, I hope I don't knock you over. Oh, <laughs> everything out. is. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay, I'm headed to what they call the yard. I like it. It's on wheels. My favorite thing. A lot of you don't know, but everything has to be on wheels. It's comfortable, it's clean, it's been raining. It's got that earthy tone, a broken wheel. 
Perfect. I am super hot, flushed. You can see my cheeks, right? I was loading stuff in the car and then this woman started talking to me about those chairs because she wanted them and I'm like, sorry. Um, that The chairs were originally $10, $5 a piece, so I bought one, went in the store, got little things I'll show you later. Um, props, props. And then uh, as I was coming out, um, the, some lady jumped out of the van, she's like, oh, for the chair, and, and he's like, five bucks, and then she, she walked into the yard, and then I'm walking up to load my chair, and I said, uh, how much for the, he goes, ah, they should go together, so he gave it to me for 250 so, or two bucks, so that was seven dollars, that's 350 a piece for those chairs, yeah, and they're so comfortable, I love them, so, and I could redo them if I want, but I'm not, because I just, I gotta go take a breath, I drank some tea and I'm all speeding because I'm not a caffeine person, but I'm at, I'm at Don's yard parked in the shade of an RV that's for sale. I don't know if I should overdo it. I, I, I need to get water and eggs and a few basics and get back to the land before things start to turn ugly around here. I don't know if it's tonight or tomorrow morning. But thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. I bought something and can you hear it? Yeah, I thought it might make noise, but that's okay. I love it. <laughs> I'm doing great. I, I'm cheating on Tammy. Are you? I'm coming here by myself without her. Oh, I know. It's bad. Bad luck. She might kick me off her land. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, so I'll, you, I'll, I'll avoid it. Yeah, no, no. I'll I won't. I won't tell her. I'm gonna show her the video. I'll say no. This was from the other day. Okay. So I'm. Are you Beware. fixing to take off? Uh, just across the street for about five minutes, and then I'll be right back. Oh, yeah. Well, I need more. Than, I just come to pick up whatever I can fit in, buy a few things. You want my cash? You go ahead. You want my cash? And look what you want. By okay. the way, I've been eating all that donkey food. That go, Those oranges were not bad. I've been, I washed yeah. them off oh, and yeah? Yeah. threw some out. And yeah, then, yeah, the bad ones. So, I think of you. I love it. Yeah. I think of you, and I've been sharing okay. your story with people, and they love you, and they think you're amazing, and the Eagle's Nest, and yeah. people, I, they laughed when I showed them the video of my, I said, my home is here, <laughs> this is my home, yeah. it's here somewhere, uh, so yeah, so I'm going to shop, I just, I, can, I can't fit much, but there's that one palette I think I put, oh, the flat one, the flat one that I yeah. need to put on, I, I picked out my lot on Tammy's land, you did, so now I have my own it's going to look just like this in about a month. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're going to get in trouble. No, no. She... Okay. Uh, we're getting ready to bring out a load of pallets. Wow. So, let me hold this. Uh, I should probably get the tripod on. Never mind. So, I just... You can see I just ran into Dawn, which is good news that she's here. And when the camera went off... Oh, the thing she told me, I said, can I record that? And she says, not right now, but that means I'm going to get it. <sighs> what a, what a, what a interesting person and her passion. And well, I'm not going to give you any, I'm not going to give you any hints. No sneak peeks anymore. You know, uh -uh. you just wait for the real thing. Okay. So I'm going to go shopping and get my little platform and whatever else I can get in to Tammy's beater. I'll call her B. I don't like beater. Beater's not a very good word, so we'll call it B in B. Here I go, shopping at my department store. In the shade. This was really nice. I just put the umbrella in here and it's blocking all that hot sun because I have some of my health products in there and my water and so, yeah, just nice. I'm gonna carry this with me all the time. I've picked out six, because I know if I get four, I wish I had two more. So we'll see how much they are. And I made room in the van. Oh, I thought there was a spider crawling on me. So here's my two chairs. I put that one up there, and that's in a much better spot so it's not poking into the back. 
because look at underneath here this is all clean it's not torn so I'll fit about six of those in there and hopefully there's room for that one pallet I want that has the plywood on top so it's like I can sit have a little platform but we'll see I'm sure it'll fit right there and then stack those six there and then I got to go do what I came here to do which I haven't done yet you know food water but this is shelter so gotta have shelter and this storm's coming look at those beautifully redone she pointed to him and said that's Tammy's fence they do such a nice job here Here's the one that I was going to order last spring. I was going to order the base one, and for some reason it was 3700 I think, with no paint. and Because this one shows at 5700 And I think he was going to sell it to me, this one. Um, I don't know. I can't remember. The guy's gone now. But I really... Sorry about the noise. Oh, I don't think they had the shelves in here last year. I don't think they had those, but. So, yes, I know it's cheaper to do something else, but when you don't have the cash, and you're looking at a payment of $75 to $100 a month, and you have instant shelter dropped off. Oh, it's the split loft. Ah, this is a different one, I think. <laughs> and it has a sunroof. Yeah. This is definitely a different one. I don't remember this. I would have remembered that skylight. And the, it's insulated, too. I want this one. Maybe they'll just deliver this one. This would be nice. Window, look at the ventilation. Key, because I'll be gone in the summer. And that's easy to secure the window. And these are heavy duty doors. Oh, really heavy duty. They're really heavy, see this? It's a 10 by 12. It's the TB700. You can look them up online. And this one has the metal steel plates. So uh, that's better. They used to be wood. Do because I'm a nut. <laughs> Did I don't oh, I think I accidentally said I was a nut on um, camera. Okay, look at this. This, I was just at Home Depot looking at those sheds, you know, and they're like 3700 yeah. I know. So, I know. now I'm back Two here. together. Great. <laughs> no monthly pay. Do, yeah. yeah, but you don't finance them. No. 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 These are, look at. I don't charge that much either. I know. It's see? the delivery that's all that, well, that's all that. Uh, basically. That's, let me yeah, see. Watch the it's plexiglass. Oh. Well, you see, if you. This is solid. If you made that the bottom. Right. I could. This then is. Then you could live. I could live well, in here. <laughs> now this would be a great outhouse, but it's too tall. And well, it's too I, short. The other. This way. could just be these, a good storage. These are more perfect. Tammy says she bought this one yeah. and bought those pieces, so right. that's hers. Right. But I thought she said she bought this, but maybe she didn't. Well, she was she... thinking about it mainly for storage. Yeah. See, and she... the only thing you would need, and. The only thing you would need is a slanted roof, yeah. either to catch the water or divert it. Yeah. Otherwise, it's going to sit like in here. See? Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't leak inside. This was full of water. Wow. And it just stayed there until it dehydrated. So how much do you, is this worth? I'm not going to say. Yeah. Um, yes, how much you bought the wood? It would if if I had it. About it, 150 just for the wood. Yeah. No, I know. You see the way they're put together? You got hinges. With those you... bolts. Yeah. 
all them lag bolts oh together yeah no this thing i can tell is this is yeah. so yeah, the I, and people piece. are curious people want to know yeah. so this, this piece of plywood here one piece of plywood this and you see i'm five foot right oh so that's a 10 foot piece uh well it's about nine nine okay yeah. but they don't make plywood nine foot i was like well, what's the deal with that that's one piece yeah. that's a beautiful pattern on there oh i know and you just uh well see see how it's all glued and stapled together there's glue on the outside, oh. and it's stapled. This thing, so, yeah, you can see, they had shelves in here, I think. No sunroof. <laughs> no, but I have a sunroof. I'm sure I you have do. A dome, Ooh. You know that has a frame on it. So this but, would make a nice outhouse, an outdoor shower. Because um, I, it's it's when it's cold, uh -huh. you really don't like all that outdoor wind and stuff. Right. I'm not. Yeah. I like heated, yeah. comfortable. You know, it could, yeah. Well, you know, it just depends. Yeah, well, I love it. wait, I I walked and by this and... It's original. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I would keep it and only touch up the paint for um, sealing it. I would want, I want to keep the rustic look. Oh, yeah. And just seal it with yeah, a, uh, not a polyurethane, but a, a, a... Clear sealer. But not a clear, but a matte finish, so it stays that... Or beeswax yeah. or some sort of that's all hand painted too they used to make decals you know that you could just lay yeah. on there back the, in the 50s so yeah. how much is because this that's, that's what this is this is from the late 40 early 50s yeah i that's what i used to sit in yeah <laughs> me too mine was wooden and hard and you see baby line that's the mom that's they don't make those anymore and I wish I could find the, the little, the little thing. Yeah. But my little sister and used to sit in these. We'd feed them, you know. Yeah, I remember how they felt. <laughs> they yeah. were hard. Yeah. Everything we were raised with was hard. There was no padding and exactly. and and movies. Okay, so I'm interested in that white thing, possibly. The bed, the lounge. I call it my outdoor lounge. Lounge. It's a lounge. I believe this is a hardwood. So I it's think if I were selling wood. this, I would want someone to pay twenty-five dollars minimum, yeah. thirty if they really loved it like me. Yeah. But she gave me a really good deal because um, I'm going to be buying a lot of stuff. I think. So I got this for how much? I forgot already. I was Ten so bucks. excited. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. I don't know how, but I may try and. No, I gotta come back because I gotta get the the pallets. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Okay, what do you want to haul today? So as I'm editing and um, I put these the clips you're about to see are three or four clips after I had locked the keys in my, um, in, in, in the, in the van. And I had, um, like you'll hear later in the tea time trauma part, <laughs> tea time trauma tales, you'll hear a little bit more about, um, things, but, and you can just see the wild eyed look I had in my eyes and the adrenaline because I was really, really in trouble. And not just because I locked the keys in my car, but because of my health and the condition that I walked out to the car with. I checked the oil because I left the door open and the keys were on the seat. I always keep keys in my hand. I only have one key to this van and I, this RV and I've been had it for five years because I'm really good with keys and I am going to get a copy and whatever. So, um... I opened the door, left it open, but when I dropped the hood, the door shut and it, it left a little gap, but not enough to get in there and do anything. And I knew because I had made sure everything was locked before I even went in AutoZone. I knew I was in trouble physically, emotionally. And then over time in the next four or five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, 30, it got I got really scared. I didn't, I mean, I'm a, I was a long way from home and I was unprepared for an emergency. 
so that's what I did learn but so um here's the clips right afterwards and then my tea time <laughs> drama my first tea time and it's drama I don't have much but um it did trigger me a lot and it still gets me teary-eyed and stuff because I hurt my shoulder I had to hold that the guy you know men they were he was just like just hold that stand there I couldn't stand I kept kneeling and saying just I need a break I can't stand my legs and I tried to explain to him but I um and the strain on my arm just re-injured that my shoulder was doing great so this has been a big deal for me but I'm recovering really quickly and I was you know just laid around and edited all day <laughs> so that's it's cold and windy it's not that cold but I mean some people think it's cold I know these are long videos, but whatever. It's it's my it was a day in my life. So, and I wasn't on anything. I wasn't drinking or doing drugs or doing anything at the end of the video. It's kind of I took three sunset with Kayani, but I normally only take two. That deals with the uh, anti-inflammatory and some other things right away, and put me into a deep deep sleep. I woke up at twelve thirty three, but. Um, yeah, I was, I was fried. I, I don't even think I made tea. I don't, it, uh, it was hard. It was a scary, hard thing. So anyway, here's the next videos. Okay, I'm, I'm done crying, but, um, I locked the keys in my car and I've been here for a couple hours. I locked everything in the car, my cell phone. I couldn't call Tammy. I, I had no way to contact her. But this man gave me a ride to O'Reilly's. We got a Slim Jim, it didn't work. But he, this man he, over here, I'll introduce you to in a little minute, created a tool and then he modified it and he got these, this open. And I'm telling you, this was not easy. So I'll tell you more about the story. Um, I learned a lesson, I'm sorry. And what's your name, sir? I'm DC. And he wasn't gonna give up and I said- I'm glad to help. He's glad to help, thank you, thank DC. Bye Thank bye, DC. Bye. All right, bye. So what happened was I panicked, obviously, because I didn't have the phone and I couldn't call Tammy. And I don't know her number and I don't know anybody that knows her that could call her. I mean, I don't. we don't know anybody's number. But I saw this man right here and he was working on his, he was having someone come out and help him. And he worked tirelessly and created this tool right here. Let me show you this tool. And um, it was an antenna. Wait, it's an antenna. And he bent it and shaved it. And we had this and we spent hours going in there um, to try and fix it. So I was, listen, I had no options. Her AAA, she's not here. I couldn't call AAA and even give them her number because she's not here. So. I learned a lesson and I'm a little shaken up, so I'm gonna go. Hi, I just want to thank you. Thank you so much. What's your name? First name? Tim. Tim. Tim, Tim, and, and yeah. And uh, isn't he gorgeous? <laughs> this is a beautiful sight. Yeah, and so it was meant to be because he could, I gave him 20 bucks and he sure could have used it. So it was really all about you. Yep. I wonder why things happen, but it wasn't about me, was it? Uh -uh. It was really the 20 you needed. So are you crying now? Uh -huh. <laughs> I was crying when he... I know. Uh, uh, no, it, it, I wouldn't have took it through it oh. normally, but I need it. So, I, I kept saying, why is this happening for me? It, why would this happen? And it, had, it wasn't for me, it was for you. Yeah. My yeah, God. I I'm good. I know it's probably going to go right there. <laughs> it, it's Friday night. You go get yourself something to eat. You earned it. Your tool, I, I'm going to have to take a picture of the tool. Because yeah, yeah, it would not have happened without without that tool. I was going to ask to keep it. So, with you. Well, you got the paper. It's going to be with you. Without you. <laughs> Isn't that great? He drew me art. He drew me a piece of art. It's good enough. I'm very happy. I I love it. Let me show you another one. Okay. I want to thank AutoZone for trying to help me. And I want to thank O'Reilly for 
trusting me to give me the Slim Jim. That it didn't work, but they gave it to me with no money and no deposit. What a day. I just watched the video where I started out this morning. I hadn't done any caffeine and I was waiting to do some unsweetened iced tea, which I did at Carl's Jr.'s because I love that place. And then just the overstimulation began. It's when I saw the 50% off sign and then those chairs, and I didn't even tell you guys what happened because of the chairs. When this lady jumped out of the van to get the chair, she turned around and started talking to me and saying, you know, you can get some good deals and those chairs are great and you can reupholster them. I'm just like, they're fine. And then she just started asking me questions about me. Or I don't know how it evolved, but something about, yeah, for my camp and I live off grid and then it just evolved into what and and it always gets, it usually wants, it always gets back to Kayani because I talk about how I help people with fibromyalgia and sensory processing and just people with anxiety. And, and so she was so beautiful and, um, and ready to hear. And she was ex ex excited about the off grid stuff. And so we really connected and she took my number and She's going to call me. And so I was exhausted when I left. And that's why in the video where you see me when I'm like all hot and sweaty, it's because I was sitting in the hot sun talking to her and I was in then Dawn and to then to Home Depot to see those sheds and in Home Depot and then Walmart and then, and then, uh, AutoZone <laughs> and then the zone. I went into the twilight zone. That. I think about it. Just think about this for a minute. I'm in a city, maybe an hour and 15, 20 minutes away. And I have no phone, no money, no way to get in the car, no way to contact. You know, I, I can't have someone drive me out to Tammy's. It's, it was weird. I and I had some encounters with some weird people there. Not the people that helped me, but the people I was trying to get in between. Because I was just like, just trying to get a ride across the street. So I found myself in a pretty vulnerable situation really quickly, like in minutes. And I didn't like it. But I knew it was happening. So I was like, why is this happening? And then it turned out it was happening for that guy. At twenty dollars that made him cry. I cried, he cried. It's yeah. But the hardest part actually of the day I don't I don't want to talk. I don't I can't hold the phone. And this isn't I don't think the lighting's that good. I think it's kind of dark. I'll t I'll talk about it tomorrow. I'm gonna make some tea. This is not a tea time talking head trauma. Tea time trauma tales. Woo! Tea time trauma. Yes. Yeah. It's a good... Somebody commented, what did you call it? An alliteration? Using big words like that in my comment section. How dare you? I, I love the comments. I just read them all because I couldn't get to them this afternoon. I was pretty busy running around shopping for my lot. So this was tea, tea time, trauma tales with no tea, just trauma. Bye. Th is this thing going in and out of focus? Cause I'm looking at you and I can see it shifting. It's a problem with the note nine, just so you know, it's not me moving the camera and all that good stuff. Okay. Good night. I'm, I'm so happy. Even though I was crying, I cried twice today. That's really unusual. I cried standing in auto zone because of, my fibromyalgia and SPD I was stuck in a line. I had to get the oil for Tammy's car. I was by myself. It was, I, I got hot and sweaty. I broke out in a sweat. I couldn't stand. I was kneeling and I just start crying.
because I can't, I can't get caught and stuck in situations like that. After Walmart, and I got stuck at Walmart in line, and because it was the first, and they say everybody, for, I don't normally shop in Kingman, um, some other places, but um, I just thought, well, I'll run in and get some water. And they said that this Kingman Walmart services the whole area, like from Dolan Springs, which I don't, all like this whole circumference. Um, and it's in, it was the not so day. Okay, bye. So it's getting long, five minutes. Thank you for five minutes and 37 minutes of your time. Second second, your time, bye.